Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? It's midnight. <laughs> and I'm starting my vlog. Well, it's not a vlog because once again, I'm standing here in my living room just in front of the camera. So what did I do today? I cleaned some more. I'm trying to get this house in order and I'm getting there slowly but surely. I worked on the master bath today. That took some work. I did more laundry today. That took some work. I am getting there, I promise you. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, what did I do other than that? Uh, this evening I actually drove over to my friend Darlette, stopped at Walmart and she was like, hey girl, can you pick me up some chocolate wine? Do y'all, are my wine drinkers out there? Do you drink chocolate wine? Have you ever had it? Of course, y'all, Miss Virgin here. But, I mean, I don't know. The, the little gentleman that waited on me, he was like, chocolate wine? I guess he'd never seen it either. And most people that I've mentioned it to have not ever heard of it before, but it's one of her favorites. In fact, um, I don't know, like she's been drinking it for years now. So I stopped and picked her up some chocolate wine, but I also had to pick up toilet paper, paper towels. You know, I had to do that kind of stuff. So I did that and I went over to her house for a little bit. We ended up grabbing some chilies. So that was kind of cool. And then we just sat there talking for a little while. We just, it was like, I mean, like laid back on the couch. Well, she was on the couch, I was in her chair and we just caught up. <laughs> We're usually, this is an early night for us because we typically can stay up until like five o'clock in the morning just talking. She'll come over here sometimes. I'll go to her house, whichever. Like I think she's coming over here on Sunday because we're gonna have gumbo. So I think she's coming over here to have gumbo on Sunday. So she's excited about that. So we'll probably be up Sunday night. Like she'll be here Sunday night like until the wee hours of the morning. That's just what we do. We get together and we just, we have so much to talk about, <laughs> like every time we see each other. So anyway, that being said, it was a beautiful evening. And so I'm just getting home, which like I said, this is early. So I thought I'd show you guys what I wore today or this evening. Like I said, I didn't do a lot, but I guess I kind of did a lot. Like, I don't know. I don't feel like I did a lot, but of course other people will look at me and be like, girl, like what? But I have no nail polish on for starters. So that's like... Yeah, right? No nail polish. None. Anyway, so I got to get up and do my nails in the morning because I, I can't go two days without having nail polish on. Like, it's not heard of for me. So, but, so this hat is a Gap hat that I got from the Gap. Probably, I have no idea how long. It's been in my closet. I don't know if I've ever worn it. I don't think I have because it still has tags on it. But I can tell you it's old. Like, I, it's like one of those things... It, that was on the clearance rack and it was probably marked down and marked down and marked down. So that's how I ended up with it. But I do love it because it's like, it's made out of, of like, it's, it's like a um, knit hat. It's knit. Is it knit? <laughs> what, why can't I think of what you call it? But anyway, you know, it's one of those, like, it fits like a glove, nice and snug to the head. So, and it, but it has the looks of like a baseball cap. Like, you know, it's got the little beak and stuff going on. So I actually love it a lot. I think it's cute. Don't know why I hadn't worn it before now, but anyway, I'm wearing it tonight. And then, like I said, this is my old navy vest. And I don't know what color it's coming off in the camera, but it's kind of like a, a tan color. And then I have on a white flannel-ish uh, t-shirt. And I think I got this from probably TJ Maxx because I don't know where this one came from. I think I had this on an OOTD not too long ago and I was like, I don't, I'm not real sure because I looked at the brand and I'm like, I don't recognize the brand. It's not like Old Navy or any of those. So it must have come from TJ Maxx. So, you know, they have random brands. And then on the bottom half, I am wearing a pair of my old jeans, which they fit my booty so cute. Look at that. These are some that fit me now that were tight before. So, but I like the way they look on my bum bum. I'm a bum bum, I'm a bum bum, I'm a bum bum. They fit my bum bum, they fit my bum bum, they fit my bum bum. 
So yeah, but they actually are kind of low. I have to be careful wearing these because th my belly will pooch over. And right now the girl is bloated. Pulled out this bag this time. I hadn't worn this one in a while. So I pulled it out. Y'all, I'm stuck on these crossbodies. I have not pulled out a regular purse in forever. And I don't want to, it's like I have no desire to pull out a regular purse. I'm just loving my crossbodies so very much. And then I have on my boots, which these are, I always call these my biker boots because they have the big buckles on the side. I'm trying to, yeah, there's the buckles. I don't know if you can see them in the camera, but they're big buckles. They fit kind of, I don't know, they just look like, these are Harley boots. <laughs> and that's the cord to my ring light. But, you know, hey, I should have it plugged in on the other side. But, you know, I don't. So, y'all know it's 12 o'clock. I'm tired, okay? But, yeah, so this is my OOTD. Y'all know I had someone ask me. They were like, what is an OOTD? <laughs> what does OOTD stand for? And I thought it was cute. It stands for outfit of the day. So when you hear me say I'm doing an OOTD, that's what that stands for. And I'll be honest with you, I'll let y'all in on a secret. I didn't know that either. When I first started watching YouTube, I was like, what, what, what is that? Like, it wasn't registering, like, you know, like what the initials were. But, you know, I, once I figured it out, I was like, hey, I can do that. Because I would always just say outfit of the day. I never referred to it as OOTD. And then I started watching other people say OOTD. And I'm like, what are they talking about? Duh. But anyway, got it now, okay? But I'm getting ready to go in here, take off this makeup, and get ready for Betty Bye, because I want to get up early in the morning. But take this hat off my head for a second. Oh no, I'm hung, I'm hung, I'm hung. And I don't know if you guys can see my makeup if it's coming across on the camera, but I didn't really do a lot, but I actually put my makeup on in my beauty room today. It's not by far ready. Like, it's not ready for y'all to see it at all. Like, it's just all over the place. But I moved all of my makeup from my bathroom back into my beauty room. So, I actually sit at my little desk with my little mirror. And I actually put my, apply my makeup today. I'm so proud of myself. There is a round mirror that I want to get from at home. Round one. It's only like $29.99. So, when I get back up on some money here i'm gonna go buy that because i i do want a bigger mirror just to have in front of my you know like sitting on my desk because it's i just love it because it's round like it's i'm all like <laughs> y'all get it i'm all like it's round but it's really cute and but i use my makeup mirror to do my makeup today just to see if i could do it and i did a good job like i was able to see just fine so i'm totally excited about that i just gotta work on putting everything away in there so Hey there, Chica Pass. How we doing? How we feeling? So it is Thursday. I'm about to head out and run some errands. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to the bank. I'm going to be out pretty much all day and then I'm going to be babysitting this afternoon. So, you know, it's going to be a busy day. I don't know how much of this I'm going to share with you all because the morning time probably so, but of course during the babysitting hours, I won't because it's not my child. But yeah, so anywho, I thought I would share with you all what I'm wearing today, mainly because this is the outfit that made me busted. <laughs> this is the outfit that I went broke to buy and it wasn't even expensive. So I just, I was like, I have to share this with y'all. This is such a cute outfit. I just love it. It is such a comfortable outfit. I actually even stuck my heels in my bag because I was like, just in case I decide today that I want to spruce things up before I go do the babysitting thing and throw on some heels, I'm definitely going to throw on some boot heels if I decide to do that. But ideal outfit for what kind of a day I'm about to have. So for starters, so I have my hair up in a bun and I'm wearing my headband today. Thought that would just kind of, you know, throw the outfit completely together. Got on some big hoops. The lipstick that I'm wearing today is by Tarte. It's very similar to the one that I have from Urban Decay that I just got. And I don't know, I located that in my collection and I don't know what the color is because I looked and there's no color, like the little thing has rubbed off. So I don't know what color it is, but it's very, very similar. And you know, the Tarte uh, lip, whatever those are, those, they're very uh, soothing. They have that, like that, all that little bit of menthol taste or flavor or feel or whatever to them. 
So I'm loving the way it's feeling on my lips. And I just wanted to see today like how I like this because I was like, I don't even remember having this lipstick, but you know, that happens to me a lot. But yeah, so moving right on down. So you can see that the jacket that I'm wearing and I'm bumping into a plant back here because I have a huge tree behind me. But as you can see, I uh, have on that jacket that I told you all about slash top slash I don't know what you want to call it but I'm wearing it today as kind of like a pullover jacket because I do have underneath it a tankini now this one is from Old Navy it's one of the longer ones and I got I wore this one today with the thoughts of how it's going to look at the bottom half which I'll show you all in just a bit so yeah so let's so now you can see me kind of like from the neck to the knee area <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, y'all. But yeah, so anyway, I kind of like this look right here. I'm actually trying to beat the glare from my windows. My curtains, I am still trying to get in. So y'all bear with me on having no curtains. We're never in this room, so it's okay that there are no curtains in here. But of course, the glare is real. But um, yeah, so anyway, uh, this is what it looks like. I absolutely love it. Like I said, it's got the pockets and this is plastic, I guess, yeah. <laughs> And then this is kind of like a, I don't know, whatever that rain repellent type of stuff is. I don't know what you want to call it, but I just love it. I love the stripes in it. I love the fact that it has a hood on it. It's just so, so cute and so comfortable. And of course, I am wearing my velour leggings. Like this is my belly button right here. And then the pants are like right here. So they're like literally right into the tip top of my belly button. So which is perfect to pull in all that, you know, that stuff that we have right in here that we just like to hide sometimes. And then this is, like I said, it's a longer tankini. So I like the fact that I can make it look a little longer than what the jacket is. And I kind of, that's why I kind of chose this one because I knew that the jacket would kind of hit me like right there on the hips. Now, honestly, I have noticed that this jacket do ride up a little bit, which is totally fine. I just reach down and pull it back down, but I just love it. I love the way it feels. It just, it's just awesome. I, I love it. I can't say it enough. I just love it, okay? And then you can see the bottom half of me. Uh, these are some Steve Madden high top slide-ons. I don't know what you would call these, but I did get these at TJ Maxx. I've had these for a little bit and just hadn't shown them to you all. Um, again, these is, you know, sometimes I buy things with an intent to, I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not. And I really was talking myself out of keeping them because I was like, what use do I have for these? Because I'm really not that sneaker type girl. But then when I, sli I put these on again, I was like, you know what? These aren't so sneakerish. You know what I mean? Like these actually look like cute little shoes. And I'll be honest with you. I saw a video that Lisa Lisa D1 did and she was wearing a pair of Michael Kors, similar type of thing. And I thought, well, I'm not going to do the Michael Kors price, but I'll certainly hold on to my $22 on the clearance rack from TJ Maxx. Originally $40 at TJ Maxx, but they were on clearance for $22 when I bought them. So I just actually pulled the tags off of them this morning because I was like, I think I'm going to keep these bad boys. So I actually love this look right here. I feel like I'm looking pretty sporty. I just, oh God, those are cute, aren't they? Yes. Really cute. I'm so glad I decided to keep them. These are a size eight and a half. Absolutely love the outfit that I'm wearing today. Comment below and tell me guys what you think about it. My little splurge, it wasn't a really, I mean, it was a splurge because I shouldn't have been spending the money, but it didn't cost a lot. Like I said, the leggings were $12.99. This was, I think, what did I say, $19.99? I think, and my shoes, which I had already had, but I only paid $22 for them. So it is a very inexpensive outfit, but I feel like it just works for any type of a day that you could possibly be having. And like I said, I got my boots in the car or in my bag and I'm gonna toss those in my car. So if I decide for some reason, if anybody say, hey girl, you wanna grab lunch or something while I'm out and I feel like I wanna dress that up a little bit more, take it up a notch, I'll throw in my boots. But I probably won't because I actually like, now that I look at this whole thing together, the Steve Maddens are kicking it, okay? So anyway, I am gonna head out. I'll be chatting with you all throughout the day. All right, so I just left the post office. I took care of what I needed to take care of as far as, far as mailing the letter that I needed to mail, so that's done. And I checked my post office box and I got my notice to pay rent. Oh, <laughs> I don't need any more bills, y'all. I mean, like seriously, like I told y'all, I can't be spending any more money. <laughs> But yeah, it's my mailbox fee. It's due by the 31st of January, which I'm glad I know this because you know the last time, remember I almost missed it. Um, 
Well, I did miss it actually because I was on vacation and I was gonna check my mailbox before I went on vacation and I didn't. And you guys, because I don't get like a lot of mail, so you know, it's not like I make it a priority to go check my mailbox. So, and then when I was on vacation, I called because I started to think about it. Like, it should be getting due. I don't have an email or anything. Like, you know, because like I know you can pay online. So, I, you know, I was like, and I reserved it online. So I just thought that I would get an email saying, hey, you know, your post office box is coming due, blase, blase. But you don't. You just get this little thing in the post office box, which I didn't have one of these when I came and checked my box. So that was kind of interesting too. But anyway, luckily my box, they held the box itself for me. And um, yeah, so I think I had to pay like an extra little fee that day for like a late fee because I didn't pay my post office box on time. It kind of pissed me off. But yeah, so at least I have my thing now and I know that I have to pay it by the 31st. So, um, and I guess I can, yeah, you know, I was going to say I could probably just write a check and stick it in there if I get there when the post office box is closed, which I probably will do. Just write them a check for $26 and stick it in the, this, this is like a, one of those little like envelopes that you can put in there. Yeah. So I'll probably do that. Like, I don't know what date, but sometime between now and then, obviously. But yeah, so I'm about to head to my credit union and then I've got to run by the bank. So I've got two things to take care of and then I'm really going to pretty much be kind of like done with what I had to do this morning. Even though, I mean, like I thought I was going to have to go pick up a prescription, but it's not ready. So that's not going to happen, which is good because that was further out and that would have taken me more time. And yeah, because I was procrastinating leaving my house today. I was taking my time. Not on purpose, but I was just like taking my time. Like I just, <laughs> I don't know, like time got away from me as it often does. You guys know how I, I roll. Like I, you know, lady of leisure here, nah. But anyhow, that is what's going on with me. I thought I would just check in real quick and yeah, I'll chat with you guys a little bit later. Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Friday, y'all. It is a ugly day outside. I don't know if you can see that, but it is so freaking froggy, like you can barely see. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting on the passenger side. I am riding in the Mustang, which I still know I need to show it to y'all, but I'll show it to y'all another day, not today, because it's just too ugly. It's raining. It's foggy. It's just nasty outside. But yeah, so I had to run some errands this morning, and I thought I would just stop on and say hi. Uh, I haven't uploaded in two days, so I might combine these three days together just because, and I still have no nail polish on the nails. What's up with that? I know. I'm going to get my act together tonight <laughs> or tomorrow morning, probably. Probably not tonight, probably tomorrow morning. But yeah, so anyway, um, oh, I just realized, you know what? I, I think my eyeshadow is like jacked right there because I was going to fix it this morning and then my phone rang. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever, it'll pass. But yeah, anyway, so I just wanted to pop on and say, hey, what's up? I am wearing some leggings today, my Zellas, and then I have on that white t-shirt thing that I got from TJ Maxx a while back. And then of course, I'm wearing my old navy vest again. I'm kind of liking what I have on, except for I'm freezing, because it's cold. I, for some reason, was thinking today was gonna be a better day than it is. So I dressed for that day that was in my head and not for the day that it really is but anyhow i will chat with you guys a little bit later hey there chica pass how we doing how we feeling today is saturday january the 19th it is early in the morning actually for me to be all done up like this but i'm actually going to the movies i am going to an 11 o'clock movie i haven't done that in a long time but i'm excited i'm looking forward to seeing it i'm going to get, see upside which I've been wanting to see that movie. So yeah, I can't wait to get there and get started with the movie. But I wanted to show you guys a very quick, like my OOTD. Um, it's one that I envisioned in my head in my sleep and I put it together and I like it. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So I'm wearing a shawl that I've had for quite a while. I 
don't even remember where I got it from, but it's one that I've loved. And you guys, if you don't know, I've always loved animal print like for years. And every time I try to get away from it, it seems like it rolls back around because it's that print that just keeps on coming back. And so I've had this for a very long time. It has various shades of browns, uh, camel, uh, gosh, uh, tans, black. It's just like, you know, all those earthy, like animal print colors, what can I say? I don't know. And I decided today that I wanted to be a little bit risque and I, I love the combination of black and brown together. Ironically, it's two colors that people don't generally think that you should put together. Um, for the most part, you, I see a lot of people like, you know, if you talk to them, they'll be like, oh, I wouldn't put those two colors together. But then when they see them together, they're like, hey, they, they work, you know? So I have on a black turtle leg, which is the one I wear all the time. And then I decided to uh, throw my scarf on today and I threw on my dark brown scarf because that's going to bring in the colors of my of my shawl and it's just going to kind of put everything together. I just like doing that combination. I actually was going to wear my brown leggings today but they felt a little bit big and I felt like they were gonna be sliding down. So I kind of thought, you know what? I probably should not wear those. So I decided to throw on jeans. So, I'm so these are my Reg and Bone jeans. I've had these for quite a while. I actually really, really love these jeans. They were with me when I was skinny, skinny and they were a lot bigger on me at that point. But now they're kind of, you know, they still have a good fit. They are, you know, I've got a lot of give room in there. So I'm really excited about that. There was a spell though that they were a little bit tight and so I didn't wear them nearly as much. Of course, they have the big openings, lots of tears, and they've torn even more over the times of me washing them and all that stuff. But I just love this look. And then I decided that I was going to be really risque. Yeah, you can see my leaves from my plant on the floor there. But I decided to be really risque, and I have on dark brown boots. So I have on a um, black sweater, dark brown boots, and a dark brown belt. Like, I kind of like wanted to pull all of these colors in together and then threw on a diverse, like threw on just a, a change by putting on the denim. So I, I just, I don't know, I felt like this was just enough. Like it just, it said all that it needed to say in this outfit and I absolutely love it. These boots, of course, you all know where they came from. They came from TJ Maxx. Um, I've had these two for a couple seasons, I think. I didn't wear them very much uh, this past season, but I, in fact, I had almost forgotten I had them, but, yeah, so anyway, this is anyway, this is my OOTD for today. I'm going to head out now because I need to get there and get situated before the movie start. I don't want to feel rushed, but yeah, so I hope you guys like. Let me turn around so you can see the shawl. I love, love the shawl. It is just, it's a cold day outside today, actually. It's, a, um, it's very, very windy. So I feel like going to the movies and having the shawl is like the perfect thing because I'm just going to wrap up like this in the movies and try to keep myself warm but yeah so anyway i'm so excited about going and i will i don't i will see you guys throughout the course of the day i don't know at what point when and where and how but i'll try to chat with y'all at some point throughout the day